Welcome to Vicky Makes and Builds and thank you so much for rejoining me on my journey doing what I have come to call the big jig. <laughs> of course, I am talking about the 13,200 piece Disney Orchestra Puzzle by Clementoni. I am now halfway through. I've done three of the six sections and now I'm going to tackle my fourth section and after that is done, I will be two thirds of the way through. So I'm, yeah, getting through it much faster than I thought I would actually, but uh, it's really good fun. So, um, you know, it's easy to get back to it and just have such good fun doing it. So for this, uh, for this particular section, I'm going back to doing one bag of pieces. So that's 2,208 pieces. Um, if you don't know, in the first uh, video I did on this, I did a a single bag and then in the second video I just went slightly crazy for a little while and did two bags mixed together and which obviously was 4,408 pieces so back to a mere 2,000 pieces now <laughs> and I'm going to be tackling section D of the puzzle uh, which you can see on this grid here it covers the bottom left corner of the puzzle and that is this area here which you can see on the poster um, so as you can see, uh, this area has a lot of ducks. Um, I, I think it might have all the ducks actually, apart from Donald, he's on the next, uh, section along, which I did last time. So we've got these three little guys here, um, who I think are called Huey, Dewey and Louie. Uh, then you've also got Scrooge McDuck, who's sitting over here on the piano. And you've got Daisy Duck, of course who's up there playing a violin. Um, you've got the body of this big guy here. Um, his face is kind of in the, in the top section. Um, I don't know his name, but I think he's another duck. Um, and of course, you've got um, around about half of Minnie Mouse as well. So we'll be getting her finished after this section is done. Um, so I don't have much of a plan for this section that's different to how I've been doing it before. So um, basically, but always before, I've been sorting the pieces, doing the edges, doing the middle bit, and just taking it from there. Um, last time I obviously had a lot more pieces to tackle. So when I did my sorting, I had lots of really large piles of pieces, which I then ended up having to kind of sort as I went along um, into smaller piles. So what I'm thinking I might do this time is just do a more detailed sort right from the get-go because I want to see basically how a more detailed sort at the beginning makes a difference from a sort of a macro sort with lots of mini sorts all the way through. So I'm going to do that. And the other thing I'm going to do just very slightly differently this time is I'm going to take more meticulous timings for the puzzle. People have asked me, how long various bits have taken me and the whole thing's taken me. And I've only really been able to give rough uh, timings because I've just basically been a bit rubbish keeping tabs on it. So, <laughs> so uh, yes, I'm going to endeavor to take more um, meticulous timings on this so I can actually let you know how long it's taken me and perhaps give you an idea of uh, whether the, the more detailed sort is gonna be better. They come. And spread them out so I can see what I'm looking at. I'm thinking this time around as well, bits that are together like this, there are always quite a few of those actually in this puzzle. Uh, the last puzzle I did, my origami puzzle, hardly had any at all but then again that was only a thousand pieces so you know half the size of this so it's I suppose that makes sense uh, but I'm thinking this time always before I've kept them together because it's such a large puzzle and I've just tried to kind of help myself out a bit but um, usually I don't usually I take them apart so what I'm going to do this time is I'm actually going to take them apart as is my usual uh, um, habit so the only thing is, sometimes the cardboard's still stuck, so that's a little bit frustrating. But anyway, for right now, I'm just going to mix them up. Put 
There we go. So yeah, I'm ready to start sorting. I better just not delay. Sorting is probably my least favorite part. Uh, I don't know if it's yours, but you know, definitely it's my least favorite part. So I'm gonna not delay, stop rambling on and just get going with it. Okay, I wanted to just pause for a moment here because I've I've gone through every piece and I've put them in all in different piles. Um and by and large I'm happy with the piles that I've got. So at the beginning I was saying that I wanted to do a really meticulous sort on this one. And um I've got the pink pieces there, so I'm fine with that. That looks great. We've got a small pile of red curtain pieces there. They are the, the stage lights at the bottom. These, I think, are largely um, parts of uh, the duck's feet. Um, they've all got quite large feet and they're not wearing shoes. So um, I suspect there's a lot of duck feet in there and probably some beaks as well. Here we've got the red parts that belong to the stage and possibly as well some red parts there. Oh, I've got a curtain bit there. There we go. Possibly as well some red parts that belong to, um, I'll show you. Scrooge McDuck is wearing these on his feet. Now, in the last video, I asked if anyone knew what they were called, because I, uh, I couldn't figure it out. I couldn't find out from Google. And somebody did reply to me in the comments. So thank you to you for letting me know that these are in fact called spats. So anyway, the only character wearing these in this picture is uh, Scrooge McDuck and his spats are red, as you can see. So I think some of the spat pieces might have ended up in there as well. And there are a couple of red bow tie pieces, but I've uh, put those in this pile here, the, the blue pile for the suits. Uh, this is the pieces that I think belong to the piano. That is a small pile of pieces with musical notes on. We've got a pile there of um, pieces that belong to musical instruments. That's the edge pieces. So the reason I kind of paused at this point is because I've now, looking at the pieces, I'm really happy with like these ones and these, that one and these ones here. They're all really good manageable uh, piles of pieces that I think I can get through pretty quickly. The only ones I'm not happy about are this pile here, which is by far the biggest. That is um, kind of brown camera caramelly coloured pieces which belong to the, the floor of the stage. And that does make sense because the stage is probably the biggest area um, and it would be the biggest pile of pieces. But I happen to know that some of the pieces that have crept into this pile belong to animals like this rabbit and I got a bit sort of lax with that uh kind of just didn't think there were as many of them and they ended up getting mixed in and then I found more and more and more so I thought right I'm going to start putting them in a separate pile I've got a few here so what I'm going to do uh oh the other pile that I'm not as happy with is this one these are white pieces which again will be a bigger pile because there's a lot of white ducks on this uh on this part of the puzzle but again there's bits in there with like eyeballs on bits in there where i know it's minnie mouse's face like that and i've just thrown it in here even though i sort of knew that so um i've not decided yet whether i'm going to do a second sort on this pile because it's not as big but i am now going to do a second sort on this pile and try and tease out these ones where it's animals. Okay, so that's me done. My uh, sort of second sort on these pieces and I'm fairly happy with that now. That is the pile of pieces that I separated that I think belong to the uh, various animals that are dotted about the stage.
Okay, so the edge is sort of done. <laughs> uh, there are two uh, problems, um, if you can call them that. Firstly, I seem to have a missing piece that goes in there because those two pieces don't fit together. So I think that has probably got missorted into another pile. So I'm hopeful that I'll find that as I go along. Um, the bit that's bothering me a little bit is I have this <laughs> set of three edge pieces here and I have no idea where they go in because the rest is all together. So what I might have to do is measure the side and measure the bottom and see how it stacks up against the other sections, maybe the section at the top, and then I can figure out whether it's supposed to go in the side bit or the bottom bit. Or even maybe if it's pieces from a different bag, perhaps. So, yeah. So almost done with the edge. Uh, I, I mean, I've looked along here really closely and I just can't see where I've gone wrong. But you can see that there's a lot of dark pieces here that all look really similar. And it's kind of hard to tell if I've just put a bit together wrong and I need to slot it in somewhere. So I will go and measure that and figure out where I have, where I've, I'm missing these pieces. Uh, so I was just in the middle of measuring the side of this and <laughs> realised uh, that I, um, the missing three pieces uh, that I couldn't fit in just went at the top of this side. So uh, I was a bit silly there, but never mind. I found where it went um, and now all's well, except for this missing piece here, which I hope to find among the rest of the pieces. So yeah, edge done. Bar one. <laughs> I just literally got out a um, another box of pieces to start another section and I was going to do the curtain, the, at least the red bit of the curtain, because I know I've got some bits in here with a little bit of piano on. And look what I found. The missing edge piece. Thank goodness. It's always a bit of a worry when you're missing one. I'm going to put that in there and that is now the edge officially done. <laughs> so it's coming along really, really quickly now, coming along really well. So I will get on now with the bright red part of the curtain before moving on to these pink bits, which belong to the dresses of and shoes of uh, Daisy Duck and Minnie Mouse.
Here is progress so far, and you can see that I'm now starting to connect together some of the different elements of the puzzle that I've done. Um, so my next task will be to continue with the blue suit pieces, which you can see I have started a little bit of, um, those being the suits of Scrooge McDuck and of the large duck character. Okay, so I thought I'd do a quick rundown of all the pieces I've got left. This is the biggest pile. This is all the pieces of the floor that I have yet to do. These ones here that are turned over are really dark pieces that I thought might be the blue suits um, of these two characters here. But I've pretty much done all of those. So I think they must now be just really dark, shadowy pieces of the floor. So we've got those left. We've got, in this box, yellows and whites. And those two piles have gone down quite a lot because I've kind of just been picking at them for other pieces while I've been working on other sections of the puzzle. So like, for example, I picked some uh, little furry animal pieces out of the yellow one. And I picked some like eyeball pieces out of the white one and things like that. So they have gone down quite a lot, which is great. That is my remaining box of uh, musical instrument pieces. There's a few others on the actual board, but I have sort of partially put them together and identified roughly where on the puzzle they go. So I have had a good long stint at this this morning. Uh, I've been doing it for three hours and seven minutes, which is probably the longest single stint I've had on this section so far. I normally get about an hour, sometimes an hour and a half. But uh, yeah, three hours work has pretty much got the three ducks done. We've got most of his body done. We finished off Daisy bar a little glove and Scrooge bar that one piece there. We have attached the rabbit to the duck section there. I've also completed that. Oh, I say completed. There's two missing there, but the top and bottom bits where this gap was is now joined together on that edge. Actually, I'll point something out here. Um, 
when I find pieces like this that are like super narrow and kind of really curvy and oddly shaped, I instantly know that they're on a central edge because where the sections of the puzzles meet, there's like a really obvious line that you can see. And you just sort of know that these squished pieces go on a central edge. It's not the same at the top. At the top, the pieces are a little bit taller. Uh, so it's not as easy to tell, but um, definitely on this edge, you have like more narrow pieces. So yeah, I'm, I'm making really good progress. So my next step will be, I've got only, uh, these whites and these yellow bits left to put in. And I notice that I'm missing a few bits like kind of that and that. And I figured that they would probably be in the um, box of floor pieces, which is here. So I've just had a shuffle through those and the result of that has given me these pieces here. And looking at some of the pieces, I know pretty much straight away where they go. So I'm going to pop those in just now. Okay, so I interrupt this puzzle to bring you a piece of alarming news. So all I have left to do on this puzzle is this section here, and there is one piece at the top there that's no doubt somewhere in this box. There are all the pieces I have left, that and a few I've put together on that piece of paper. However, uh, a while ago, my puzzle was sitting on a board uh, and I, um, hmm, shall we say, had my guard down for a very brief moment, but it was long enough for one of my cats to knock off the piece of paper that had this stage light on it. And nothing else got knocked off. Everything was as it should have been. And the cats weren't near this when I found the pieces of it on the floor. I put it all back together as best I could, found all the pieces that I could and assumed that I had gotten away with it. I was wrong. <laughs> Two pieces have disappeared. And uh, having hunted high and low, I cannot find them. So I was gutted, as you would probably expect. And I know I did have them because I checked back 
to uh, photographs that I'd taken earlier when they were actually in place. In fact, I didn't even notice that they were missing until a couple of days ago when I was using up the pieces uh, and just kind of came to an awareness that those two weren't in the pieces that I had left and thought, hmm, maybe, maybe I actually lost more than I thought in that little uh, cat-related accident. So, uh, not all is lost. Um, <laughs> by a happy sort of accident, really, I got talking with a girl on one of the Facebook puzzling groups that I am in, a girl who has this puzzle and who I got chatting to, and she's from the UK, and uh, it's sort of a, a long-ish story, but the long and short of it is she actually has a spare copy of this puzzle. She had a faulty puzzle and she got a replacement and she still has the old puzzle. And she offered during our conversation to give me any pieces that might be missing or get lost if I needed them, which at the time I thought was uh, extremely kind and didn't think that I was going to need. <laughs> uh, but as it turns out, I do. So I got in touch with her and uh, she is posting me these two pieces um, through the post and I should get them hopefully this week. I cannot thank her enough for doing that and offering to do that. I, I'm not sure what I would have done otherwise. Um, possibly got in touch with Clementoni, maybe. I, I don't know. But uh, it was entirely my fault. Um, the pieces were there to start with and now they are somewhere out there in the world and I have no idea where, possibly inside one of my cats. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know, but um, I would like to thank uh, Emma who has kindly um, popped those pieces in an envelope and is sending them up to me here in Scotland. So. For now, while I wait for them to arrive, I will finish off this bit that I have left to do and I will see you at the finale, hopefully with a fully complete puzzle. I am back and I am back with my rescue puzzle piece delivery, uh, which is right here in my hand. And I'm so excited to be able to put these two pieces in and actually properly complete it. Thank you, thank you, thank you again to the lovely Emma for providing me with these uh, donated uh, replacement uh, jigsaw pieces. Thank you so much. Um, so I'm going to put them in just now and we will uh, have a wee look at the finished product.
So that's it. I'm once again sitting on the puzzle. I thought I'd do the outro uh, while sitting on it. I find it quite comfortable. <laughs> Uh, well, no, it's not that comfortable, actually. I just enjoy sitting on it. I don't know why. Uh, one of those things, I guess. But anyway, that is it. I have crossed the finish line of the fourth section of this puzzle. And it is now wider than I am tall as you will see from this photograph. Um, yeah, so the dimensions of this now at this point are, it is, now bear with me, I've got to just check on my iPad here because I wrote it down and I can't remember. It's 195 centimetres wide at the moment and it is 135 centimetres tall at the moment. So it's set to be almost three metres in width once it's finished. Uh, so a biggie. In fact, this is going to be almost the width of this room <laughs> when it's finished. Um, but yeah, so uh, just a few final thoughts really on the puzzle. Um, first of all, the timings. Now, as promised, I did uh, a more diligent, um, I made a more diligent note of the timings. Uh, there were, there was twice, I think, when I forgot. Uh, but other than that, I won't be too far out when I tell you that um, it took me 17 hours and 48 minutes. So that was over a period of 12 days uh, because I tend not to be able to spend much more than a couple of hours on it per day, if that. Uh, occasionally I might get three. Um, the longest single amount of time that I spent on it was three hours and seven minutes. And the... Um, most I spent most time I spent on it in a single day was five hours and seven minutes. Uh, I think the shortest day was fifteen minutes. <laughs> that was the day I did the edge, um, and I didn't do any other part of that day. The sorting took me ninety minutes, which I think I mentioned earlier on in the puzzle. And again, that took longer because I was doing a really detailed sort. And I think that that is largely the reason why the timings on this section of the puzzle, this one here, um, d were a lot shorter. In fact, just above half the time it took me uh, to do this top corner section here. I can't really compare it to this middle section because I did those both at the same time. So it was like double the size, but I am fairly certain, even though I didn't take as diligent timings on that bit, I'm fairly certain it took me around about 28 to 30 hours. So I really, really cut the time on this one a lot by doing that sort. Not only that though, but I personally think that this section of the puzzle that I did today was the easiest section that I've done so far, uh, which might also have contributed to the shorter time. I think that is because, see with these bottom sections of the puzzle, as opposed to the top sections, there are just a lot more sort of different elements to it. So instead of having a section like this at the top, where it's essentially just a bunch of faces and some curtains. Um, on a section like this, you've got some ducks, you've got Daisy, you've got Scrooge, you've got Chip and Dale down there, you've got Minnie Mouse here, you've got violins, you've got piano, you've got all these different things. And it just, it kind of gives you more categories to be able to sort the pieces into. And it makes it, um, easier to be able to just put those individual components together uh, instead of having just this huge section where it's just like faces um, and it maybe takes just a little longer because you're kind of rifling through a, a larger pile of pieces especially with that curtain as well. Um, the bit that took me the longest I would say was the floor section particularly down here where it's really dark but even that the floor was just all these different shades of kind of orange and brown and yellow and there was a certain amount of texture to it as well so I was able to um, I was able still to put it together without much 
fuss. Uh, I did do shape sorting, um, but it really, it really was, well, it came together um, the easiest, in my opinion, or certainly out of the four sections that I've done, it came together the quickest and the easiest. Um, and actually as well, um, if you were to take this section of the puzzle that I did today, aside from the fact that you don't have this this guy's head and just a little bit of the top of um, Daisy's bow is cut off, it actually could have been kind of a puzzle in its own right. There wasn't really much cut off this section, so you know, if I was to take that section and then put a frame on it, you, you could easily, it could be its own puzzle. Um, rather than there being kind of one element that dominates the section, like the curtain there, and if I move over here, Mickey Mouse, who, he just, he's just huge, because he's the big centerpiece, I guess, but, um, you know, he, he didn't, if we were to separate that section that I did at the bottom in the middle, really it would just be a puzzle of Mickey Mouse, because <laughs> he's just so big. But anyway, I feel I am rambling now. I think overall um, the timings were really good. I'm really pleased with it. I think uh, the sorting made a huge difference there. Um, but, you know, some people like the process to last longer. So, um, because they're enjoying it so much. So if you do want it to last longer, then perhaps less sorting at the beginning maybe is an option but uh, no it was it was definitely it was a good method for this particular section and this is my favorite section to have done so far i really 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 enjoyed it there wasn't one particular bit that i super struggled with or got fed up with or got annoyed with or anything like that it was just brilliant it did cause perhaps the most stress but that is not because of the puzzle that is because of my two naughty cats who um Cat owning puzzlers the world over, I am sure will agree, are like the enemy and arch nemesis of puzzles. <laughs> oh dear, that day when I walked into the room and found uh, a bit of the puzzle on the floor uh, was kind of my nightmare really, but <laughs> I picked it all up happily thinking that I'd got it all and then discovered that there were two pieces missing, but we managed to fix it. So I won't dwell on that too much. I've got to work on another section next, obviously, to finish the puzzle, but I'm not entirely certain which one to do. I've got the top left, uh, sorry, the top right section over there, which is another bit that's going to be like this with loads of red curtain. Um, or I can do the bottom right section, which will be another bit like this, with a few more characters and um, instruments and things like that. I'm really tempted to do the bottom bit because I've enjoyed doing those more, but I will eventually have to tackle that curtain. Um, and I'm thinking that putting it off might not be the best idea. So I'm erring towards doing section C next. Um, but I don't know, maybe you can, maybe you can tell me which one you'd like to see next. Make a comment. Will it be the top, section C, or will it be the bottom, section F? Um, otherwise, all I have to say now is thank you so much for tuning in again to another one of these videos on this puzzle. I am loving doing this puzzle. I just love it. It's so good. I'm going to miss it when it's finished. Um, and um, thank you to everyone who has subscribed and liked my videos. It was whilst filming uh, for this video that I actually um, broke the 100 subscribers barrier. So I am so, so pleased about that. Thank you so much. Um, and if you're watching this and you've enjoyed it and you aren't subscribed, um, please consider subscribing and then you'll know as soon as my next video on this uh, and other puzzles comes out. I have got some it's actually my birthday today um, and the reason I'm mentioning that is because I got quite a few new puzzles for my birthday so I've got some exciting new videos coming with some of my new puzzles as well. Um, so if you're looking, you know, if you want to see some of those then please do consider subscribing but otherwise thanks again and I will see you next time. Bye bye!